G'day, I'm Peter from Team Low Range 4x4 and today's video is an instructional video. I've got a bit of kit down here with me that I recommend no matter what your experience, you should be carrying in the vehicle in one form or another. And I'm going to focus particularly on how you should deflate your tyres, step by step. So let's get into it right now. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? So push the mechanism all the way up to the top here. This is the top, this is the bottom, as I like to look to it, because this is part goes on to the tyre valve. So let's do that. So you screw it on as much as you can till you reach the base of the tyre valve using the middle section as I have done. Next, you use the rear part of the deflator and you turn it right till it clicks. Once it clicks, then you slowly twist counterclockwise until you feel a little click skip at the end. And then you slide the rod out like that. And you should then get a tire reading as I have there. The tire reading is currently about 36 psi. I want about 28 to do some little rock steps and stuff that I'm about to do. So next step, is you take the base of the valve or the top of the valve here and you push back until you reach the desired PSI. Pausing each time to check when you get down to the right pressure. Pressure, I should say, pressure. About 30 at the moment, two more to go. There we are, dead on 28. So once you have reached your desired pressure. Push the base of the tire deflator back in until it locks firm. And then using the middle section, rotate counterclockwise this time until you remove it off the tire valve. And at the very end, don't forget to put your tire cap valve protector back on, nice and tight. All right, let's continue this for the rest of the tires. 29, 28. 